What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Thanks for checking out Shinsane88 Gaming. Welcome back to Oblivion. Last time, we entered the land of Elsewhere via the Elsewhere mod. I'm not exactly sure how much content there's going to be here, but I do know that there are apparently some uh, factions in the city of Corinth, so I think we're going to try and go there. But if you missed the last one, this will be a good opportunity to kind of take a look at All right. Take a look at what this mod has to offer. Shadow Mary, you're uh, you're injured. All right, so we're going to go south from here. So yeah, obviously a very different sort of environment than you what you're used to seeing in Oblivion. I'm guessing that's the city right there. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the uh, traveling merchants. We met one last time. He didn't really have anything good, so... Eh. I don't have a ton of time today, so we might do a slightly shorter one, but I'm going to try and get through all these faction quests pretty quick. Because I don't want to spend like 50 episodes in this mod. I mean, this is pretty much, unless anybody can think of anything else, this is pretty much the last thing that we have before we finish up our Oblivion series here. Who's mad at me? Oh, you're mad at me. Okay. The frame rate's actually doing better over here than it was in some of the other areas. Whoa, hello. Okay. We can go check that out. The pop-in is a little bit ridiculous, but I probably did something wrong when I was generating the distant lands. Although we got, like, the big cities, so I don't know. Well, you're not immediately hostile. Speak. Crime doesn't pay. Move along. Hello. Have you not heard? So, the Oblivion Crisis has ended. Happened? Martin Septim gave his own life to destroy the Daedra really? Horde. We are victorious. You don't say. The Colovians are proud of their reputation. You held my ears. That's like the meme. My honest reaction to that information. <laughs> Bet you think you're something, huh? You call yourself the arcane. He got reassigned. I never believe. Looking for Romanus, are you? What can I interest you in? <laughs> Move along. You know, I think I saw in the README file that there is actually an Imperial Legion quest line. So we might just have to find the right person, then we can join. I used to admire you. Yeah, yeah. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Hmm. Good day. I should make a spell that's cure paralysis on self. That'd be super useful. What do you need, champion? Crime doesn't pay. He's just a thief. It was an honor to speak with you, champion. At least somebody has a little bit of respect. Speak. Okay, Crime you look important. Pay. We have long. Yeah, when we don't have actual dialogue, that's how we know that that's modded dialogue. Carry on. Oh, 
Although I would have thought he was the one that would uh, let us join. Hail, citizen. I speak for the Emperor. It was an honor to speak with you. Hmm. Wait. One goes to Wilderness. One goes to Elkarn Land. But they go to the same place. I don't know if I'm going to survive this. All right, well, maybe we'll try this later. I'll do a bit more research. The readme file that I have open, because I guess I didn't specifically say this, but fortunately the mod does come with a walkthrough. Having played several total conversions, I know that, uh, let's just say modded quest lines can be a little bit obtuse sometimes. Who are you? You don't. Yes. Bye. No offense. We'll avoid the giant spider for now, I think. Oh, that looks like the gate right there. Somebody's mad at me again. Let's go. You know, I said the frame rate was good, but now we've gotten to a state where we're just kind of fluctuating. I'm going back and forth between like 70 to 140 to 50. It doesn't like this area, that's for sure. What brings you here? All right, so I should be looking for somebody near Hello. these caged Hello. animals. Huh, candle seller. You look like someone who's... What can I? He's a potter? You might say he's a Harry Potter. <clears> hmm. <throat> Seeing you. That's probably you. Yes. I offer the finest goods and the lowest prices hmm. in all series. The Great Hunters Guild. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure. All right. Vicious pack of wolves. I'm guessing this quest line is going to be fairly straightforward. I'm kind of surprised we didn't start out killing rats in somebody's basement or attic. <laughs> Man, this is so weird. I said this last time, but this really reminds me of Kenshi. Just the desert environment. I see the wolves. Blip. 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 Oh, I missed that one. Blip. 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 And that looks like the alpha. Blip. <laughs> Well, that was easy.
It is always weird, though, like balancing a mod like this. It's sort of like balancing DLC, right? Like, what do you do? Do you actually just level gate the area where everything's going to kill you when you're really weak? Kind of like in, you know, Tribunal? Or do you make it more like you can go there mid-game? Which I think is probably the better way to do it. Although, I don't know. Maybe not. There are different ways to do it, for sure. Anyways, give me my reward. I hope I can help. I don't think my hands are red with the blood of wolves, but maybe for skinning the one and taking its pelt, I guess. Hmm. Okay. A fierce old sow. Hey, don't talk. Ab Never mind. Okay, where's that at? Travel south. Oh, travel south from here. I was not paying attention, clearly. River hold. Yeah, I don't think we went. Well, obviously we didn't go here. I think I did go here when I was testing to see if the mod would actually work. No, I take it back. I have not seen this. Oh, this is kind of cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. You know, there's a reason why I avoided using a horse for, like, the entire playthrough. Good to see you. Bet you there are going to be a bunch of quests here, too. Oh, there's another house for sale. All right, all right. Let's get the house real quick. We can get sidetracked. Ebony armor. I used to think you were yeah, yeah, whatever. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Pleasure doing business with a pleasure. A marriage between a Khajiit and a Red Guard. You too. Yeah, well, it was nice, uh, nice meeting you. <laughs> I guess we'd have to go to the castle to get the uh, house, huh? Okay, we got Mage's Guild. Probably not going to get to that this time. Not bad. I suppose that's good. Good day. You too. Oh man. Hello there. Well, it's no problem traveling from here. We should be within business hours, I would imagine. Whoa. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> wow. Impressive. Hi there. What can I do for you? Sounds like a deal to me. Be seeing you. That's a nice outfit you got there too. I would love to get a hold of that, but we'll abstain for now. But be seeing you. That must be a sucky job, lamp keeper for <laughs> this area. If you didn't watch the last one, we did come across quite a few doors that were like that, where they didn't actually activate or go anywhere. What? Oh. Um, technically, the mod is unfinished. 
and was originally planned to be a lot bigger than it ended up being. But, I mean, shoot, I, there's a pretty decent amount of stuff here already. <gasps> Alright, where's this uh, store? You know, okay, so it's at the bottom. While we're here, it'd be a shame to just sprint through this and miss everything, right? Shepherd's house, trespassing to go in there. I would like to check out, like, some of the buildings and stuff. Not the Mage's Guild yet, though. Yeah, this is cool. This is like Spriggins. Nature's guardians, my foot. Mean things. They'll curse you. I wonder if this is what our new house is gonna look like, but yeah, it's it's cool. I definitely appreciate how all of the different uh door needs a key, okay? All the different areas are quite different. And the mod uses, you know, some assets that are from the base game, but uses them well, in my opinion. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? There it is. I just went right past it. You You can hang out there for a minute. So yeah, like the architecture is Leowin-esque, but laid out completely differently. This is it, right? Dang. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. I am a fan. This little fire pit. Shepherd's pie. Or Lombiagine pie. Definitely pronounced that correctly. This is definitely cool. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get over to this on you. These stairs are a little dangerous. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can find this sow or whatever. There's a your mom joke in there somewhere, but it's too obvious. I'm just going to leave it alone. Should be over here, yeah? Oh. I did the wrong, uh... South of Corinth. Okay, I clearly was not paying attention at all. I thought it said Corinth, but... Then I was, uh... Following that quest marker. What quest marker was I following? The Craftsman. Okay. It makes sense now. All right. Okay. Well, let's go south. Now this looks really weird with Night Eye and uh, <laughs> the night sky like this. I guess we just don't have a quest marker for this one. Man, this is really, really something. This 
skybox even looks I, I don't know is this like oblivion liminal spaces edition or something i don't know this is certainly strange but i like it uh-oh are we gonna have to pay the troll toll Part of me thought there might have been a dialogue, like, prompt there. Oh. Alright, well it is a quest. Troll key. Anyways, you know what they say about troll tolls. You gotta pay them, right? Fields of the whatever plantation south of Corinth. All right. Can I actually get these coconuts, I wonder? Shepherd, goat keep, whatever. I gotta say, I'm not used to using the horse. And I don't like the way the screen, like, shakes around like this. It's kind of... It's not making me sick, but it's a little disorienting. How fair these Disorientating? Have you not heard? Do I know you? <laughs> That is very rude, but I mean, all right. Tickles. I don't like this lady. What is happening? How can I, I don't know if I want whatever special true. What is to you? Take shade and all for but. Wait a second. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something. To Wait a second. As I was reading that, Goodbye. I was imagining like small house house Safe cats. Travels. But you too. Well met. <laughs> Hello. You got some nimble feet. Oh dear. What have you been getting into? Oh, I don't like this at all. Okay. Well, that's that's nice. That's very nice. Um Okay. Way a win. Probably need to go back this way. Yeah, even in third person, the camera kind of sways in an obnoxious way while on horseback. But hey.
Yeah, so anyways, I, I don't like that lady. I thought she was like some crazy cat lady, and I suppose she kind of is, but I didn't realize her cats that she was talking about in that story were probably actual Khajiits. <laughs> so that's, uh... That's something. Oh, clan furs. All right, here's the plantation, I'm guessing. Is this like agave or something? Oh, pineapple. Yes, of course. Doesn't quite look like agave, does it? I'm certainly impressed. Uh, the first episode of us doing this, so last time, uh, we had just those big, like, rolling planes kind of over here, and I thought the whole mod was going to be like that. So I'm actually fairly impressed that the landscape is this varied. It's definitely very alien looking. Hello? It's you. Hi. I used to think you were... Bye. Later. This is supposed to be on the road near the plantation or something, so it should be around here somewhere. Oh, this is cool. What the heck? We'll come back here next time. I like the seagulls though, even if they are really jank. That's a neat touch. We are actually off the edge of the map. I wonder if I was supposed to do something to fix that, but I don't know. I did have to turn the world borders off. But I had to do that for the Sterk mod, too. Another reason that this is going to be the last thing that we complete in this series is that I think some of the stuff that I had to do to set this mod up probably broke other things. Oh, there it is. So I don't know how much more we're going <laughs> to get out of this. Although I still want to do the final episode where I go to like all the most uh, comfy, cozy, cool places that I can think of in Oblivion. So as before, let me know if you can think of any. Well, uh... That certainly seemed like it, didn't it? You know, uh, I'm looking at the walkthrough right now, and it says that we got to talk to the plantation owner first. So that was the boar, but I guess we had to uh, do some dialogue first. This is fine. Wake up. What? Take care. Have I broken the quest, I wonder, by killing it beforehand? I certainly hope not. Oh no, that's it right there. Okay, we're good, we're good. That would also explain why it didn't have a uh, unique pelt.
because I was kind of expecting that. There, or tusks. Whatever. And genius that I am, apparently did not activate the fast travel point. <laughs> ah! That, uh... Ooh. That surprised me. <laughs> Legitimately made me jump a little bit. Ooh, alright. I think I mentioned this before, but I'm not the biggest fan of spiders. I don't think I've ever told my uh, arachnophobia origin story, however. So, why not? So, back when I was a wee lad, I don't even remember how old, but I must have been... <laughs> okay. I must have been... Uh... Oh, I don't know. I was definitely younger than 10, so... Pretty young, let's just say. I was at a pool party, bunch of people, uh, adults and kids, just hanging out, whatever. And uh, I used to be quite into catching lizards. So I was chasing lizards around. Um, can't remember if I caught any or whatever. But anyways, there was a hole that I thought was like a lizard's hole. And it was, you know, a little bit smaller than like the size of my hand as a, a youngin. So obviously I was uh, not being supervised during this time, but I went over and I'm like, oh, there must be a lizard in here. So I kept sticking my hand in, trying to like, as far as it would go, which wasn't very far, trying to uh, get in there and get a lizard or something, right? Well, I did that a couple times and nothing happened. No lizard. So eventually I went back and a giant spider came crawling out of the... Uh, the hole. And ever since then, had uh, mild arachnophobia. Hell. Now, it's not like uh, horrible, debilitating arachnophobia. Like, I don't like them, but I'll deal with them if, if I have to. Um, but yeah, ever since then, that... Ugh. I think a lot of people have, uh, if they have some sort of phobia, they have a, an origin story <laughs> for where it came from. It's not you, right? Yes. Bye. Where? Oh, there she is. Good to see you. Hello. I was on the wrong side. Good day. Although I guess some phobias potentially are just uh, either genetic or for no reason. Yeah, that was it was a bore, all right. The quest, I mean. A zebra, all right, or a zebra for you uh, Brits in the audience. There might be one of you. A little zebra steak sounds good. Okay. King's Walk Caravansary Siri Caravansary Uh we're going to go to the walkthrough for this one Riding the zebra You can travel the King's Walk which is on the road halfway between Orc Crest and Riverhold so somewhere over here, I guess. All right, so we'll go uh, south from here then. That is rather neat, isn't it? Such a strange sight. Like, yep, that's Oblivion. That's uh, something else. And we got a weird seam line in the mountains, but we won't pay attention to that. You can see uh, Dune way off in the distance there. Man, I actually expected us to only... Oh, hello. Like, I'm going to be totally honest, when I installed this mod, 
I booted it up and saw that it worked. Hello. And that's all I did. I didn't expect us to spend more than like one or two episodes here, but shoot, we might we might be doing a little bit. There's definitely more to this than I thought there would be. Oh. Oh, interesting. There was one of the other cities, uh, I guess it was Dune that we went in last time, where a portion of the city was actually out in the overworld rather than in an interior cell, which was kind of cool. Now, here we go. It's okay. I just did a basically 360 around this place. King's Walk. So somebody here. I used to admire. Yeah, nobody cares. You don't know anything about that, are you Please, sure? Actually, the dialogue would be a different color if she actually did. Do I want to buy an elephant? Mm. All right. Don't don't waste your see. Excellent. Huh, yeah, right. East into the hills. All right. Can I just steal an elephant? Yeah, I can. <laughs> That's awesome. I bet you the elephant would be quite good at fighting. I'm good at that, but I, we're going to stick with Shadow Mare. Because I've never really used horses at all, hardly. I actually don't know. Like, what happens if you... Is there a Daedric Shrine up here? Hold on. What? Surely that's just reusing that icon for something else. Um, okay, so we uh, crashed there. Let's see if I can make it up from this side, though. Seems to be working. Surely this isn't actually a Daedric Shrine, like, that's going to give us a Daedric Quest. Ah. Huh. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, that is cool. I imagine there would have been a Daedric quest if the mod were finished. But nevertheless, it's a neat little landmark, I suppose. I wonder if this uh, zebra princess or whatever actually spawns. If we have not done the dialogue there. I bet you that she'll still be here quest marker was over here somewhere, right? Hello? I don't know. It said go up into the hills or something, but... I don't see any dang old zebra princess around here. Man, we might not even make it through the Hunter's Guild this time. I wanted to at least finish one full quest line. See how many quests are there in this? Uh, eight. Hmm. And we're on three. Well, well, we can try it. I guess there's no harm in uh, getting most of the way through it. 
and then finishing it up next time. I imagine we're going to be going here for something, so. Also, I was very clearly going to the wrong place. Oh, I didn't think you'd be hostile. Holy crap, these guys are tough. I am actually going to die here. What in the world? Sorry, Shadow Mare. It's too late for you. I guess it's just their weapons. They don't. I mean, at least she didn't have a lot of health. This is a bone as a weapon. Yeah, what in the world is doing so much damage? Maybe it was just that one guy that was doing that much damage, because, I mean, they're doing some damage, but not as much. I have done my work. Uh, Maybe I was getting hit by her, because I did see myself take some sort of magic damage. I don't know. Glass mace. Huh. Well, anyways, that was, uh... <laughs> that was something. That was something. Oh, we can't even go in. It's just... Huh. Very strange. Alright, Shadow Mare, where'd you go? Maybe we can get through this one and do like one more... Orc Skull. Where did Shadow Mare go? Alright, whatever. <laughs> we'll go on foot. I'll, I see you. Really? Ah! <laughs> yes, reflect magic. Oh man, this is... This is strange. <laughs> okay, well.
We can try this uh, tribal stuff, right? It's definitely going to be worse than what we have, but... It does look nice, though. Yeah, that's not too bad. And now, my friend... Wait, I can just ride this. Or... Yeah! A Durzog, huh. If you were the zebra, wouldn't you have just run away at that point? Okay, well. There you are. Hi. A pleasure. Master of the zebra. Yeah, yay. A pleasure. All right, we'll do one more, I guess. Alabaster. Alabaster. Let's see what the guide says. Travel to Alabaster, which lies not far from Leowin on the road from Corinth. Okay. Well, uh, maybe we'll go here. Shadow Mare has left me, apparently. <laughs> no Shadow Mare? I don't know where stables are. To try and find Shadow Mare. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's go here. Lay one this way, so we'll walk this way. I don't know what it is about this area, but it's very, very strange. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like this, looking out over this area, it feels weirder than the Shivering Isles did. Is that a Will-o'-the-Wisp? That's probably alabaster on my compass right now. Is there an actual ruin here? Is this alabaster? Who knows? We'll find out. I 
think the quest marker is in there, or the location markers, so I gotta... There we go. How are you? What do you want? Goodbye. Interesting idea to build this inside here. Now, I'm actually not that much of an Elder Scrolls lore, like, master. So I don't know how much of this is... Uh, oh, Shadowmere's return to Fort Farragut. All right. I don't know how much of this is, like, accurate to the actual lore. Swift hunting, friend. There's island. What can I I'm guessing a lot of this is in Elder Scrolls Online, probably. All right, you've got a bow. What can I do for you? You could be a village hunter. No? Hello. Bye. Village hunter. Uh. Okay. Who is the village hunter? Wonder if I'm going to be able to catch this thing without Shadow Mare. Yes. Well, we shall try. I'm pretty okay at sneaking. In fact, I can become even more okay at sneaking. We're probably not going to need the mundane ring. And could instead. Aha! See it. Okay. <laughs> that was something. Thank you. After a hard chase. Uh uh, was it? I don't know. Not quite sure about that, but okay. Yeah, we got four more of these. I think we're going to finish this one up and probably call it here. Man, I did not expect there to be this much content. I love Oblivion, man. I love Oblivion. I hope I can help. Master of the White Stag. Huzzah, I guess. Oh, it does actually get added to your titles. That's kind of cool. All right. Um, before we quit, though, Hi there. let's actually kind of look around here. We might have the ability to buy a house in here as well. I would not be surprised. Probably need to make it to the palace district, I would imagine. Yep, Corinth House needs a key. That's going to be the one.
Now, for some reason, standing here and looking forward like this, this area reminded me of like Guild Wars or something. I don't know why. Man, I haven't played Guild Wars in years. But I don't want to go down that rabbit hole again. <laughs> the florist. Can I buy some pretty flowers? Yes. Ma'am, I have never been have a look around. quite so terrified as I am right now. You too. I'm getting a very, like, what's the matter, smooth skin, never seen a ghoul before vibe from her. Yes. Man. All right, that was uh, almost more unsettling than that giant spider. Shabasha's rare books. Hold on. Fresh game. Yes. Yeah, you did. Dang, that's cool. Good day. What? If you don't remember, this is, these are characters from Morrowind. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. <laughs> wonder if some of these are skill books. This is actually really cool. Our good pal Jabasha made it back home. Huh, that's actually really neat. Are we outside of business hours here? It doesn't seem like we should be. Mages Guild. Hmm. Now, I do think I remember reading that not all the quest lines are finished either. Good to see you. So even though we're going to start well like the Mages Guild and everything, Defense there might only be like a couple quests. I don't know though. I haven't looked at the readme for everything. What can I do? Be seeing you. Yeah. Hmm. Joined forces with the Mythic Dawn. They really threw their uh, their lot in with the wrong side. Ma'am, I just want to buy want? a house. I don't care about lore right now. Bye. Yeah, more doors that don't go anywhere. All right, well... Maybe we can't buy the house. Maybe we can. I'm not really sure. I'm going to have to research it a little bit more before next time, but... I think that for now, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Huh, strange. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so I think we're going to go ahead and call it here then. How goes 
Man, I did not expect us to have this much more to do. We might actually make it to episode 100. I did not think that was going to happen. Uh, anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching, if you made it this far. Next time, we'll be hopefully finishing up the Hunter's Guild and then moving on to do something different. But, uh, yeah. Until then, I want to thank you very much for watching. And uh, until next time, take care and God bless.